so we have our uh, grave guard here um, without the shield I think it's the old school version of one of the ways you could load a mount but now they just come only with uh, the shield basically I think uh, unless I'm reading the war scroll wrong which might be different now now that the, there's the new vampires here um, as you can see I went ahead and uh, primed him black and then I am going to um, and then I did a xenthal highlight uh, from the top making that the brightest of the colors um, near the top kind of like where I think um, sunlight would be kind of hitting uh, and then we're going to go over with a few of the basic colors that we kind of want to like go through this um, I'm thinking um, the armor we're going to end up doing kind of in a metallic and then um, maybe using like some like reddish accents. Um, yeah. Yeah, it should be fun. So I'm going to end up doing um, this section down here, all this cloth and kind of a, like reddish, um, like a kind of a burgundy. I'm actually going to do. Uh, the Mark Nar uh, Burgundy. Um, it makes kind of a maroonish, uh, but I'm kind of wanting to like still keep some of these kind of like dark. The some of those dark kind of like colors kind of in there. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in a little bit of shadow into this, and I'm gonna do kind of a blue. Uh, I'm gonna do this blue. Uh, mixed with a little bit of uh, like a black gray uh, that means more blue so to kind of give it a kind of a darkish kind of uh, oh, kind of like an ethereal light coming up from the bottom of some sort of way. Um, the nice part about doing like a zenith ball highlight is uh, when you are um, painting it can kind of give you kind of a guide of here is uh, oh, where the air hit from this direction um, so it kind of gives you kind of a little bit of a cheat sheet of um, like here here there is shadow here there is not you know and you can kind of do that Again, you want to make sure your paints are super thin. Always thin out your paint. It's a nice little bit of kind of a darkish shadow. We're gonna come in to this part that's kind of light. It's okay if the parts kind of like overlap a little bit because it's kind of hard. Because we're going to kind of want it to be kind of like a, like a smooth.
Yeah, you're gonna want to do this when you transition. dark reddish purple I might have actually made this one a little bit too thin for my liking uh, for the initial and I always go back in and I just want the blue to be kind of like a thought. I don't want it to be like pronounced. But I don't want it to be completely like not existing either because otherwise I haven't actually done what I'm supposed to. The goal is that it'll create the natural highlights that I'm kind of wanting to like have it happen with this. And I don't want it to be too uh, too light either, you know, I just don't want it to look like the actual color. Yeah, it's kind of doing kind of what I want to do. Um, as you can see, uh, so the blue and red is going to end up making kind of a Gonna end up making kind of that purplish that we kind of want there. Um, as kind of the in between, or not the in between, yeah, it's the in between tone. Uh, not as well in the back here, but um, there's a little bit more white, and so I'll have to come back more maroon, and then I'll, I'll hit it with a little bit of red to kind of make that pop. While I'm here, I think I'm also do inside this house. Let's see. Kind of as a callback. It's okay if it spills over into the other spots because can come back and get that cool. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do that same kind of in the there or if I'm going to do this as well. I'm going to sit there and think of it just a little bit. Alright, now that I let that dry a little bit, you can kind of see kind of what that looks like a little bit more. There, you still got like some weird right in there, so I'm going to come in with a little bit thicker of that same paint.
next color I'm going to kind of do is this brown right in here. I'm using Rhinox Hide. Um, and I'm going to be hitting all these parts that I want to be leather. I really like Rhinox Hide for uh, most of my leather combinations. Uh, because it is so dark. It does a real good job of uh, standing out sometimes. But dark brown stands out pretty well to baby blue armor that I typically am working with. Alright, so going to be putting on like some silver. So this is just regular lead belcher. Balthazar Gold. So I think this is going to give a nice muted gold. Putting in the shade 
Um, I'm going with kind of a red shade to kind of give me the um, kind of darker, more reddish kind of color that I kind of want here um, that was kind of lacking from the other stuff that I put there. skeleton-ish color that I'm kind of wanting. Uh, we're going to darken it up kind of. I'm using um, kind of a like light brownish shade here to kind of give me a little bit of the shadows. You'll also see me putting it on the weapon because um, I kind of want the metal to be a couple of the different colors. That way it kind of gets um, some shadows in there. What I'm uh, doing here is I am um, mixing in um, the red highlight after I put in the shade. Um, I'm mixing it in with that maroon you'll notice that way um, I get it kind of an in-between color that way it's not too stark of a difference. You kind of want to make sure that uh, you get kind of a good mix but something that you can easily replicate you don't want to make sure you mix it up too much. a very good shadow color. It's a cold shadow. I like to use it on metals. The reason for that is it creates kind of that metallic look that you're kind of looking for. Uh, maybe the light, the sky. Just sitting there picking up the highlighted parts. I'm trying to make it too bright everywhere. Not really a whole lot of skeleton. But there's still enough. Give it a little bit of kind of like a rusty, deteriorated kind of look. Kind of like it hasn't been super well taken care of. I'm just gonna kind of dry brush this. No, I 
Kia Oxide or whatever. This one kind of gives a little bit of a... Kind of like a... Little bits of the like, corrosion. Sometimes I saw this stuff, like less is more. But there is that more is more. And like, if it's too subtle, but you don't want it to not as subtle. Step is going to be to let them dry, and then we will um, work on his basing. Mm -hmm. 